a lot of the people that I'm talking to are not thinking of those scenarios where when the grid's down, it's down. You can't flush your toilet. Right. <laughs> you know, where you're putting number one, do you have hygiene? Do you have a, a spare toilet bowl? Do you have a way to get rid of mm-hmm. waste? I mean, because disease is going to happen oh, probably yeah. pretty quick. Right. Which Selko said in his one year in hell that hygiene was the number one killer. Mm. Okay. Not being able to bathe. You get they got cuts under their arms in their groin area, infections. Yeah. They had no way to rinse it, no proper meds. Wow. Um, and he says people died from basic infections, from hygiene, from not being able to shower, and all the not this all this fancy stuff. It was just basic hygiene. Mm-hmm. Alcohol, cleaning yourself with alcohol, and yeah. and they were using what they call rakia. It's like a wine. And it has alcohol in it. They were cleaning their underarms and different parts of their bodies to stay. And he tells you he went through this for a year. How do I do it? This is the book. Right. So Selko Begovic, B-E-G-O-V-I-C. The book is The Dark Secrets of SHTF Survival. Um, and it's his his account of one year in hell with the grid down. In Bosnia, that area, sir, you know, during those wars in the nineties, the it. Bosnian wars, okay, and um, what they did and how they had to survive day to day. In 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 the book or in his talks, just to, uh, I'll just mention it. He talks about by day three of when the grid went down or when the attacks hit. Mm-hmm. People that weren't prepared, men were having their wives have relations with other men right. for a can of spam. Wow. So just put that in your Please. just put that in your wheelhouse yeah. if you're not prepared. Yeah. How what hunger will make people do? Mm-hmm. Or thirst or you know, what clean water. Right. Or a can of spam. Yeah. Um uh, and ga- he said gangs formed extremely quickly. Yeah, that's another one. Number two, people that were, let's say, normal in normal times, mm-hmm. like maybe your neighbor, you say hello to him, you wave to him or her. Right. When that happened, that person turned into a sociopath. Wow. Or a killer or joined a gang just to stay alive and survive. Mm-hmm. And now they were living next door <laughs> so who you who is good in who you're cordial with in mm-hmm. normal times if suddenly the grid goes down or something happens in your area unless you really know these people other than just like a neighbor like most of us know our neighbors hey how you doing right you see them here there you have small talk mm-hmm. a lot of my neighbors i don't know intimately like do I trust them with my grandsons or right. my what or if my wife's around or so these are all things that gotta be in your wheelhouse because with these upcoming elections, there may very well be we may very well be tested in certain cities or certain parts of the country. Maybe not the whole country, mm-hmm. but certain parts might be down and very bad yeah. where these things like he writes in the book actually happen. Wow. Wow. Um, 